Street, adding to the uncertainty many of us are experiencing with finances. With all this happening, there are fears things could get worse. New specialist Matt Rascon has more from a finance expert about how we can be prepared. Yeah, Dini, uh, when we really don't know what's coming, and that's when Jeff Selke says the market tends to go down. Well, right now, there's a lot happening that's impacting our wallet and even more uncertainty. At the end of another chaotic day on the market. There's a lot of concern and worry that this could be the start of a 2008 type scenario. It may be time to start making changes to weather the storm. So it's scary. I'd say a lot of investors and people planning for retirement are very nervous right now because it feels like things just keep going down, down, down. Jeff Selke with Selke Financial Group says there's reason to be concerned. I think we've got a number of things going against us right now. High prices for things like gas, groceries and housing, rising interest rates, supply chain issues, Russia's ongoing war, and a volatile stock market. None of it is really good right now. None of it. All of that happening at once is creating this huge mess. But there are things you can do. If you're within a few years of retirement, Selkie says you may want to take money out of the market and have enough on hand to live for a couple years. The stock market is in a position where it very easily, in six months, could be 15 to 20 percent higher than it is right now or 15 to 20 percent lower than it is right now. And there's really no telling which way it's going to go at this point. If retirement is more than 10 years away, he says you could move money to safer places or even increase your contribution to 401k while prices are low. But he says, rest assured, things will eventually bounce back. It's really important that investors and uh, people in general that we just that we don't freak out. The future may be uncertain, but Utah's economy remains strong, and it's not too late to prepare for something worse. And just do the basic things to make sure your finances are on, on steady ground so that you're wet, ready to weather any storms that are coming. Whether or not you're investing, Selkie says it's a good idea to bring down your debt, build up that three to six month emergency fund. Selkie says if there were a recession in the near future, we wouldn't know it until we were already in it. Deanie? All those measures and don't freak out. Good advice, Matt. Thanks.